So I'm here with Igor Sanyak, who is the business development for eCharge. How exactly. are you? I'm very fine, thank you. I arrived good in Barcelona. It's a good weather. Where nice are you coming from? I'm from Bosnia. I was born in Bosnia, but I grew up in Austria, in Vienna. I, I'm located in Vienna now, but I grew up in a small city in Austria. So what's, uh, how was pitching actually? How did it go? It was actually very well. It was, the investors are good. They are like very serious people here. Token Match did a really good job actually. I like this voting system, what they implemented. The pitch was fine. Always improvable, you know how it is, but it was really good. So what's the mission and the vision before, uh, behind each art? So eCharge wants actually to get the biggest energy trader without even having energy sources. Okay. So what we are actually doing is we are um, building charging stations and at these charging stations when the cars are plugged, um, we use their battery in order to trade energy. So we buy energy cheap and sell them for a higher price that the customer in the end pays less or even makes money by charging his car. Okay, and do you already have a working prototype? Um, uh, currently, we're focusing on creating the demand for the um, uh, charging stations because there are not that many electronic vehicles around. So we started to uh, with the business, with the e-taxi business. So we are operating already in Austria electronic taxis, which are creating the demand for the charging stations, which we are building. And when we see that there is enough demand, we are implementing the algorithm with the peer-to-peer -peer energy trading in order to um, yeah, fulfill the vision. Great. So then how does a blockchain come into this? Yes. For energy trading, blockchain is very useful because you can use it for peer-to-peer -peer energy trading and we want to develop an algorithm in order to be able to use the battery electricity to trade electricity to trade actually electricity over the blockchain. But there is still a longer way to go there because scalability and all this stuff is still an issue. So, but we are looking forward to uh, that it will fit. So essentially you're hoping to create an economy behind energy, is that the vision? Exactly, actually we are creating our own ecosystem. We are first building, um, um, opening the business with the e-taxi fleets. Afterwards, these e-taxis are going to use our charging stations until the demand for the um, charging stations is not high. Because currently in the countries there are like 2% electronic vehicle share of the total um, vehicles. So we, there is still a way in the front to go, but the government is pushing it, car manufacturers are pushing it, and therefore we really see in the next five to 10 years that there will be more electronic vehicles than um, fuel engines. And therefore first we have to create our own demand, and then when the market is ready for the electronic vehicles, we use them in order to um, trade the energy. So for people who might not know, what's really the push, do you think, uh, behind electronic cars? Why do you think that's the future? Um, I think that the environmental reasons, they are really big. I was two weeks ago in Asia and there the pollution is very, very high. So it's very also unhelpful, uh, unhealthy and there are zero CO2 emissions with electronic vehicles. Still there is some technology to be behind the um, uh, development for the batteries because the distance is now not the best compared like a Tesla can handle 400 kilometer, kilometers, a diesel combustion engine can make 900. So there will be still some technology but governments are pushing it, it's really more sustainable and you want that your kids grow up in a nice world and not full of dirt and pollution and everything. Therefore, I really think this will push actually electronic mobility. And do you think there's other application for e-charge beyond just electronic cars? Do you guys like see a future to using it for other applications? No, currently we are really focusing on this e-mobility because we really think you have to focus on one thing and do this appropriate and not going thousand different ways but doing just the halfway. Great. So can you tell us a little bit about how it all started, the, essentially the company? Like what was the founder? Tell us a little bit more about him, etc. Um, Marcus Dalt is the CEO of eCharge and one and a half years ago he went to a car manufacturer and he tried the Tesla. And he was so 
fascinated of this car that he said that is going to be the future. Our CEO, Marcus, he also programmed the booking.com algorithm ah. in the in 2000 something two or something. And he's really an entrepreneur and a visionary. And he looks always into markets for the future. So he said like, oh my God, electronic mobility will be the next thing. And now he's doing this for one and a half years and we really see a push into these directions. As I said, governments and also car manufacturers are going the same way with the electronic cars. And so what's uh, the type of feedback you've been getting in Austria, for instance, where you guys are based? Actually, we are also working with the government okay. together and they, everybody's very fascinated. In the e-taxi fleet, we, last time we did 30 videos with the people who, are, uh, who were our customers and they, all of them are fascinated about the cars and about that it's very sustainable for the um, environment. So everybody is really very happy and everybody where we present it, they really like it. So it's well, that's quite... exciting news. Yeah, that's and it makes you also happy if <laughs> yeah. you get this nice feedback, right? Yeah, definitely. So what are you guys hoping to do next? Um, we are searching for partnerships all over the world in order to um, establish our e-taxi business everywhere in order to build these e-charging stations and then to implement the electronic electricity trading. Because currently they are just 2% share mm -hmm. in the countries, except of Norway and the Scandinavian countries, but 2% of electronic vehicles. So our first thing is to push the electronic vehicles then to build charging stations and then to implement it, uh, the trading, but all over the world. So we really look for strong partners around, also around the world. Great. Anything else you want to add? Um, <laughs> everything fine. Go and look for the future to make a sustainable, great um, economy and earth. Or Any comment about Elon Musk? <laughs> Elon Musk, yeah, Elon, you should maybe also take care about artificial intelligence and I like your approach, what you are going to do, that it can be scary, but it also can be good. And Elon, we will not use your um, charger because we have others, but... Yeah. <laughs> awesome, well, thank you so much oh, for speaking you. to us, really appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you very much, too. <laughs>